I'm in a plane! Hello and welcome to the third heat of the Bamzuki Ubazoo competition. My name is Robotic Master. Last time out, we saw Young Hu cruise to a place into the quarterfinals, joining Reborn, who booked his place in there in the first heat. Today, we'll have another four more Zooks who are taking on the Bamzuki challenge to see if they can book their places into the quarterfinal as well. Without further ado, let's introduce the Zooks that are taking part today. Introducing. Pride. Pride takes strong inspiration from Pride Month and proudly wears a rainbow banner today. Its many legs should provide it a huge strength advantage over its opponents. Will that be enough for him to bring home the victory today? Angry Alligator. Coming from a swamp whose waters were polluted by raspberry and blackcurrant shampoo, Angry Alligator is one angry looking Zook. Its teeth are designed to rip apart flesh, but here he's kind of hoping to rip apart Zooks, so he's the last Zook left standing. Duck. Rumor has it that this duck had its wings flattened at a young age. So in order to survive, it combined its DNA with a spider in order to create this special, unique looking duck. It's the widest zook in the competition which could provide some extra challenges in the competitions ahead. Trent of the Lot When Trent is not practicing to become a Bamsuki champion, he's running in the Sahara Desert to see how long he can last without fainting. Will that training prove beneficial here? And that's it, that's our four Zooks taking part today, let's move on to the first event! This contest is especially for more destructive Zooks, welcome to Zoog Smash! In this contest, they have to smash their way through to go past the pink line on the other end of the course. They have to go through a series of flat squares, some moving doors which aren't quite as ferocious as the ones in Zook Marbles, then they've got a giant rectangle need to push out the way, followed by a series of cylinders and some little sporadic cubes which aren't as close together and dense as the iron suit cubes. So it should be a lot easier to push out the way. But anyway, first up we have Angry Alligator and Pride stepping up. Let's see how they fight in this spectacular contest. Three, two, one, go. And they're off. Both Zooks have had an amazingly fast start and they're very evenly matched. It's going to be incredibly close, but Angry Alligator just narrowly beat Pride here. Good start for Angry Alligator, though. And now it's time for Trent versus Duck. With Duck being the widest Zook of the competition, this will be his first real test to see whether that's going to be proven an advantage or disadvantage here. Three, two, one. Go. And they're off. Trent is slightly lagging behind Duck. He just charges straight at the wall and has got stuck between a revolving door and an invisible wall, it seems like. Trent, on the other hand, has gone to the rectangles and is struggling to push out the way. Duck is trying to get past the cylinder on the side. He's not even going through the course right now, but he's cheesing his way through the course. Um, he's not being disqualified, so I think the judges are intrigued to see if he can actually finish from this position. It's not a traditional way and not recommended, but it's really entertaining all the same. It's more than what Trent's doing. He's just got past the rectangle and he's struggling to get past the cylinders. This is kind of embarrassing for his part. Duck's going the wrong way now. So it's just Trent. He's pushing the cylinder long ways. Um, kind of not the ideal. You kind of want to go around it. Uh, Duck has now gone all the way back to the revolving platform and is still running at that invisible wall. And I think one arm is stuck right at that swivel door and the other arm is just standing on the other side. Duck doesn't know where he's coming or going. Trent, on the other hand, is still struggling with those obstacles. And <laughs> I don't quite know what's going to happen here. He's pushing it the wrong way. Oh, he's finally turned it so it's now acting as a wheel. But the cubes are causing him to struggle here. This is not the strongest thing. And he's really, really struggling. This is starting to get very painful. But Trent is just crossing the line now. Finally winning the contest, and Duck, unfortunately, your whip has counted against you here. And now Duck will be looking to redeem himself against Pride. Can he try pulling off a really cheesy tactic, or will Pride be too quick before he can pull it off? Let's see what happens. Three, 
two, one, go. And the siren sounds and Pride is just ploughing straight through the course like a knife through butter and wins before Duck even makes it to the rectangles. But as we can see here, the width of Duck again is stopping and going right through the middle and that would be perfect timing. You can't even pull the same trick as last time, oh dear. And here we have both Sooks who won their first round contest. We have Alligator versus Trent. Now Trent really struggled in his win against Duck and only won because Duck kind of didn't really do anything of note. Angry Alligator on the other hand kind of ploughed through this course and narrowly beat Pride. So I can only see this going one way, but can Trent pull a surprise here? Three, two, one, go. And they're off and Alligator has the early advantage but he's decided to go round. I don't quite know what he was trying there, but he still managed to get through the course quite quickly and beat Trent and leave him beached. Well done, Alligator. And now we have Trent versus Pride, with the Zook winning here, likely to finish up in second place in this event. Let's see who wins. Three, two, one, go. And they're off. Pride and Trent kind of go off together, but Pride then takes the advantage and wins with relative ease again, leaving Trent behind trying to push the rectangle instead of diving through the middle. If there's a hole already in the middle, why won't Zooks have finished in second place, try and go through the middle and try and catch up? I never understand this, especially if like Trent of the lot here, you struggle with your strength. And here we have the final matchup of this event, and I think this is only going to go one way. We've got the guy who's won his all of his events so far, and we've got the guy that hasn't finished the course yet. Hmm, I wonder who my money's on. Three, two, one, go. And they're off. I did think that Duck had a slight advantage at the start, but Angry Alligator wins before Duck has got in anywhere. But Duck has got further than he has ever done so far traditional means. He's actually almost passed the rectangle. I mean, he can't turn, I mean his whip is causing no end of problems, but he's got further than he's done from before, and that deserves a wee bit of praise in my opinion. That was a really intense first round. In last place we've got Duck, who picks up a sole point, he hadn't even finished a course once. Then we have Trent Balot, who beat Duck, meaning he finished in third place with two points, Pride, who narrowly missed out the win against Alligator in, the, in that first contest, getting three points, with Angry Alligator getting four points overall and taking the early lead. There's still plenty to play for though, so let's head into event two, shall we? And now we're on to our second event, which is Zook Hurdles. In this event, there are a series of hurdles that our Zooks need to navigate. Zooks have good clown clearance and good climbing ability would do well here, and it would also help if you're fast. But let's see how our Zooks fare in this course. Our first contest of the round features Angry Alligator and Pride. Three, two, one, go. And they're off, and they both hit that wall more or less at the same time. Angry Alligator had the slight ground clearance advantage, so has the advantage and to use it to full effect to win. Zook hurdles between Alligator and Pride. Great win there for Alligator. Next up for Zook hurdles, we have Duck versus Trent. There are no obstacles to navigate, so there's nothing really for Duck to get snagged on, and there's no obstacle to push, so Trent won't have a hard time pushing. So I imagine this won't take forever like their Zook smash encounter. But let's see what will happen when these two take part in Zook hurdles. Three, two, one. Go. And they're off. They do seem to be pretty evenly matched at the moment, but Duck has a slight speed advantage. But Trent has got the advantage and wins, but that was incredibly close. Unfortunately, Duck's whip has caused problems here, but at least Duck's been able to finish the course, which is a vast improvement on his performance in Zook Smash. Now Duck will have his second crack to see if he can beat a Zook in a competition when he takes on pride in Zook Hurdles. Will this be the day that Duck wins something? Three, two, one, go! And they're off and they both hit the first obstacle, but the uh, things at the front of Duck have made it climb over the first obstacle and run into an invisible wall, so Pride wins with considerable ease, but Duck will be kicking themselves and not taking full advantage of the advantage that they had already given themselves.
And now Alligator will be stepping up again to take on Trent of the Lot in Zook Hurdles. Last time out, Angry Alligator beat Pride, while Trent of the Lot beat Duck. Let's see how they will fare today. Three, two, one, go. And they're off. And again, I feel like that mouth is giving Angry Alligator an advantage in hurdles and he's taking full advantage to win. But Trent of the Lot isn't that far behind and I think he'll be proud of their display. And now we have the battle for second place, which for the second event in a row will be between Trent and Pride. Trent and the lot will be looking for redemption here. Let's see how they fare. Three, two, one, go. And they're off, and Pride and Trent hit the obstacle at the same time, but Trent gets past the first obstacle first, but then falters at the second obstacle, giving Pride the opportunity to win. This is the second opponent that Pride has faced who's failed to capitalise on the advantage of coming off the first obstacle first. And it's cost Trent the win here. Trent of the lot and Shima must be fuming. And our final matchup in Zook Hurdles will see Alligator take on Duck. This looks a formality again that Alligator is going to win this event. Let's see if he can make it three wins out of three though, just to wrap things up. Three, two, one, go. And they're off and away they go. Duck and Alligator have to get off the first obstacle at the same time. But Alligator wins, but Duck put up a respectable fight there and only just lost out. And event two is in the books. Alligator wins his second event, picking up another four points. Pride finishes in second for the second time with three points. Trent picks up another third place finish with two points, with Duck finishing in last and getting a solitary point. But Duck's performance in this round was much better than what it was in Zook Smash, so if he's not taking away any points, at least he's taken away the Pride he's done a lot better this time out. But after two events though, Alligator has a lead with 8 points, he's 2 points ahead of Pride with 6, who's 2 points ahead of Trent with 4 points, and he's 2 points ahead of Duck in last with 2 points. So, this is really impressive stuff overall, Alligator is taking the 2 point lead going into our third event. On to our third event, which is Zook Joust. In this event, our Zooks will be looking to joust each other out of the arena. Alternatively, they want to catch the rear of the opposing Zook in order to catch them and win. It is going to be based on speed and turning ability to navigate around this course, but being a slow Zook will mean that you're likely going to get caught by your other Zook, send you out early. I believe in this heat, all of the Zooks are relatively nippy, so this should be a very tight contest. Let's see how they fare. Three, two, one, go. And Pride and Alligator take the first steps of this event, both crashing straight into each other, but the early navigation's in its favour. But Pride has fallen off by itself. Alligator picks up the early win. Now, this should be an interesting matchup for Duck. His width almost covers the entire jousting arena, which will make it difficult for Trent to get past him. Will this be an advantage for Duck, or will Trent find a way to navigate past his opponent? Three, two, one, go. And they're off, and Trent is able to run straight past Duck, who throws himself out the arena. You're not going to win the contest like that, Duck. And Trent picks up the win. Now it's time for Trent to take on Angry Alligator. One thing I've just noticed is that Angry Alligator's tail is touching the end of its course and it looks a bit at an angle. I wonder if it'll correct itself before the start of the contest. Three, two, one, go. And it didn't take long for Angry Alligator to correct himself and they both hit the end at the same time. Trent stumbles, Angry Alligator goes past and Trent takes himself out which gives Angry Alligator the win. Great work from the Alligator there. And now Duck will be taking on Pride here in Zook Joust. Let's see how these two Zooks are going to fare in this contest. Three, two, one, go. And away they go. Pride charges straight at Duck, which sends him round the wrong way and out of the arena. Pride goes off shortly after, but he's already done the trick onto Duck. 
now time for Duck versus Alligator. These zooks are seen to be leaning forward, which hopefully will be readjusted as the timer starts. That seems to happen the first two times, but will it happen right now? Three, two, one, go. The way they go, they both tilt themselves right way up, and Alligator smashes straight into Duck and smashes him out the arena, giving him the win. With Alligator falling off almost as straight after, already doing damage to Duck before he did so. And yep, once again, this could really become a meme before the end of this heat if it continues. The battle for second place in this heat is between Pride and Trent for the third event of the row, and we're on event three. Let's see how they'll fare and who will pick up second place on this occasion. Three, two, one, go. And away they go. They both miss each other, but Trent clips the side of Pride who flies straight off giving Pride the win here and second place. This is almost starting to get a little bit too predictable. Alligator picks up the win for the third event in a row, with Pride in second place for the third event in a row. Also for the third event in a row, Trent finishes in third and Duck finishes in fourth. And that's how they are in the standings altogether, each three points apart. Not very much more to say really because, well, n nothing's really changed. Here we are in event number four, which is Ready Steady Zook. In this event, our Zooks will have to try and navigate this obstacle course and try not to knock over any sticks whatsoever. With the more sticks they knock over, the more penalties they'll incur. There'll be a one second time penalty for every stick they knock over. Each Zook will get three attempts to record the best time possible and try and get as far up the course as possible. Any Zooks that don't make it to the end will be scored based on what platform they hit last, as well as the sticks if it is a tie. But anyway, let's start things off with Trent who is ready to make his first attempt. 3, 2, 1, go! And an electric start for Trent who hits the first platform, the second square has been hit and has fallen off. And I can confirm it's taken him 4 seconds to get to platform 2 and I can see a few sticks have been knocked down. That's not a good start by Trent. And now it's Duck's turn to take on this contest and of... Oh no. No. Of all the events Duck could have taken part in, why was Ready Steady Zook picked for this one? He is wider than the whole thing itself. He's going to knock down a few pints just by stepping forward a step. That's not good. But let's see how that's going to fare. I'm keeping an open mind here. Three, two, one, go. Away we go. Oh, he's hit the first pole and has dived straight out the arena without hitting a single platform. What a fail. And now it's time for Angry Alligator to step in the arena to take his first attempt. How will he fare? Three, two, one, go. And there they go, a very quick start. He's made it past the second and third platforms onto the fourth platform and then falls off. 5.3 seconds it took Angry Alligator to get to the fourth platform. He then fell off shortly after. But that's the benchmark that Zooks will have to beat. Now it's Pride's turn to add his time to the leaderboard. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. And Pride's making a quick dash to the platforms. He's gone to platform three, hits there, and it's kind of knocked it off balance. He's wedged and he's not moving. I think that's the end of Pride's run on this occasion. That'll be really disappointing for the team. Now we've got Trent's second attempt here, ready to go. Can he improve on his first attempt? Three, two, one, go. And it's a go. Trent is flying through the course, hits the second platform, knocks over a few sticks and makes it through to the third platform and falls off. That's better than his first attempt, but that's still not a great attempt overall. And here we go with Duck's second attempt. Will that first pole cause problems when he inevitably hits it due to its width? Let's find out. Three, two, one, go. Where are we going again? That first pole has sent him off to the right and out of the arena. 
And again, look at the right hand side, all those sticks have gone. Time for Angry Alligator's second attempt here. Can it improve on its first round target to see if it can better its position? Three, two, one, go. The way we go past the first two obstacles, the third obstacle, dropping down a couple of sticks there. Four platform hit, six platform, six platform, seven platform hit. It turns and just misses on the last platform. What a shame, but he got to platform number 7 in 9.47 seconds and knocked down 13 sticks. That's not bad though, and it's currently got the lead. Now it's time for Pryor to take his second attempt at the course. He knows that the best time currently is 9.4 seconds to platform number 7 with 13 sticks knocked over is the time to beat. How will Pride fare on his second attempt? Three. Two, one, go. And away we go. Pride is taking a very smooth approach. I think the time, this is going to be close time-wise, so I do think he's speeding through this course. He's hit the seventh platform and fallen off. And I am pleased to announce that Pride has beaten the time set by Angry Alligator by 0.2 seconds. And they've scored the same number of sticks, which gives Pride the lead here. Well done. And now for Trent's third and final attempt. Can he improve on its second attempt, which is its best attempt so far? Three, two, one, go. And they're charging straight at the course. They hit the first platform, but take a spin. And they're distracted. They're going to have to get further than they did before, because I think time-wise, they're going to struggle. And they've fallen off, and they've hit the third platform in 6.7 seconds which I'm informed is a lot longer than what it did before and plus he's knocked down an awful lot of sticks that is not looking good and I can proudly confirm that it's not slower than his previous attempt so it'll be his second attempt that is taken in order as a benchmark for this round and now it's time for Duck's final attempt and I have a really bad feeling we're going to get a repeat of events here 3 2 one, go. And we off. Duck hits the first obstacle and then flies straight out the arena. That's a real shame. And now it's time for Angry Alligator's last attempt. He will have to do better than what he did last time if he is to regain the lead. Just a little bit of extra speed should do it though. But let's see what happens. Three, two, one. One, go. And they're off. Alligator's made a pretty good start and charges straight into the middle and fallen off after the third platform. It looks like second place will be all for Angry Alligator's going to achieve in this round. Well, it's already confirmed that Pride has got this event in the bag, but let's see if it can improve on his round two time. Three, two, one. Go. And away he goes, he's making steady progress, this is a very steady performance, but he's, not, he's only knocked out those sticks so far, it's just those sticks, he's got to the 7th platform, and that's it, it's noted that he's knocked down 11 platforms with a time of 9.7 seconds on the course, 11 sticks knocked down, meaning he's now increased the lead he had over Angry Alligator, and has guaranteed himself first place, though we already knew that anyway. Nice event four in the bag, and it was an incredibly close finish. But Pride wins the event with a total time of 20.7 seconds, with a 9.7 second run on with 11 six knocked down to platform seven. While Angry Alligator did a 9.4 second run, but 13 sticks knocked over, making the total time 22.4 seconds, giving Pride an almost two second advantage over Angry Alligator in the end. Trent made it to platform three, which gave him third place overall. Duck, once again, had been too wide, sent him out the arena without hitting a single platform. And yes, the start platform doesn't count. I'm on about the little squares here. But anyway, Duck finishes last again 
which means the standings are now as follows. After four events, Angry Alligator has a two-point advantage over Pride, but he has a four-point advantage over Trent, who has a four-point advantage over Duck. Duck cannot win the heat, and neither can Trent. It is between Pride and Alligator, which has been pretty much the same since right from the beginning. So it's not really much a surprise that these are the only two Zooks left in the contest. And now we're off to our penultimate event of the heat, which is Zook in the China Shop. In this event, our Zooks will be trying to knock over as many sticks as possible within the allotted time of 25 seconds. Duck will be happy about this because he doesn't have to avoid the sticks. Here he can run right into them and dance around like a llama. So, let's start off with Duck on his first attempt as each of our Zooks will get three attempts to score as many points as possible. Let's see how he fares in this contest. Three, two, one. Go. And before the contest even starts, he's already knocked him over, so a good start, and he's made a remarkable start, knocking over quite a few in a straight line, but he seems to be having struggling to turn, and I have a feeling he's got something to do with the wings on the side of the Zook. This does not bode well, but he has made some dent into the sticks, but I don't think he's going to score anymore, and the time is trickling away. Oh, he's free! He's going to knock down a couple more, but I do feel that his whip really cost him here but he did knock over 80 sticks so that's a decent benchmark let's see how our other zooks fare now it's trent's first attempt at zook in the china shop how will he fare in comparison to duck three two one go and trent is off and makes a quick charge straight into the sticks in front of him but did not knock many down but he's still wiggling around so he can just reposition himself and hope to get a better angle of some of the sticks, which he's now doing. He's knocked a few lines over, which is good. Can he continue that momentum? But I think he's stuck and he's struggling at the moment. He's free. He's not very quick progress, and I wonder how many sticks he's knocked down. But he's knocking down a few now, a few more rows, but time has run out, and I'm delighted to inform that he has scored 96, just pipping Duck to the post and has come into an early lead before Pride and Angry Alligator make their first attempts. And now it's Pride's turn to step out into the ring. Pride is looking to score as many points as possible and to beat 96, which is the current top of the standings set by Trent. Three, two, one. Go. And the way Pride goes and plows straight into the sticks, that's probably the best start overall. And I think he's already outscored both Trent and Duck. But he did get stuck briefly, but he suddenly got free and he is just destroying the course. This is impressive stuff. But I wonder how many he's going to be scored. It's going to be more than enough to finish above Trent and Duck. But will he finish above the other Zoops? Time is up and he scored 178. Uh, still sticks to knock down, but pretty comfortable. Almost double the score of 10. And now it is Ang Alligator's turn, the last Zook to make his first attempt at this contest. How will he fare and will he beat Pride? 3, 2, 1. Go. And away they go, Angry Alligator makes an astonishing start, flicking one stick to the moon and the rest of the sticks are falling like pancakes. And he seems to be very good at climbing over the sticks as well, which means he's already outscored the likes of Dark, also the likes of Trent, and is making a beeline to the other sticks, causing significant damage to those sticks. Now, there's not really many sticks left to be honest. And he's scored a total of 225 as time runs out, which is going to take him top right now. And now with the first attempts out of the way, Duck will make his second appearance on the Zook in the China Shop course. 3, 2, 1, go! Duck will definitely want to improve on his first run. He wants to get at least 95 because that's roughly how much Trent got. Maybe even exceeding it, but he's got the same problem again. He is stuck on the sticks because of its whip and those really flimsy wings, which are really not helping him in any of the competitions here. And he's just wobbling around 
like a duck. Well, I suppose that's his name, so I guess it's very suitable. But he's a duck out of water right now. But he's got 85 this time, which is stronger than his first attempt. However, that's not enough to take him about of last place. Time for Trent's second attempt at the Zook in the China Shop. He's got a huge margin to make up from his first attempt. Can he make it up here in order to catch pride? Three, two, one, go. Where we go. He turns around instead of going straight at some poles, wasting a few precious seconds there. But he's made some progress, knocking down a few poles, a couple of lines. But he's struggling. He seems to get a bit stuck. He's built loads of the ground, so he's hardly got any ground clearance. So he gets rammed up on top of some pegs. And he's in a lot of problems, and he's gathering a few problems here. It's one stopping the middle leg from moving forward, the other's blocking his path, he can't climb up them. But he did knock down 100 sticks, which is better than his first performance, but it's not enough to get him above pride. It's time for Pride's second attempt. He did a pretty decent attempt first time round. How would he do here? Three, two, one, go. But Pride knows he has to get a very high score in order to beat the Angry Alligator and he's making some significant progress here. He's doing all the right things despite getting stuck there for a brief moment. He's constantly moving around and going towards the other big pile of sticks. He's actually getting a little bit more caught up this time I believe. He's spending significant time beached up and he's run away from the huge sticks. What are you doing? There's a huge stick here. Why are you going for the small stack? Go for the big stack! He missed the big stat multiple times and he's going to be kicking himself, he only got 165. I'm sure he could have got more if he just went for the big stacks. And now it's time for Angry Alligator's second attempt. He's already got the highest score, can he build on that score now and make it more difficult for everyone else to catch up? 3, 2, 1... Go. Away goes Angry Alligator, ploughing straight through the sticks, causing significant damage to the first stack, ploughing into the second stack, causing more damage there, and in general he is just causing significant problems for the stacks, flicking sticks up in the air, look at that stick fly, it's gone completely out of the arena, and he's diving into the stack again, why is he not hitting more of that stack? Yeah, he's turned around though, he's doing something that Pride didn't do, there you go, gone into that stack, and you can see the big difference there by hitting the stack, 236. I think there's only a few sticks left round, so I don't think he could have done much better than that. Well done, Angry Alligator. This is your last chance to get out of last place in this vent duck. You need a good run here. Three, two, one. Go. And the way Duck goes, knocks over a few sticks but gets stuck and you can tell he's struggling to move forward. Now that a few sticks are down, those sticks are getting away of those paddles on the side and he's not knocking down an awful lot of sticks here. He's just wobbling around like the duck he is. A few more sticks go down but it's not really significant progress. There's no significant power behind it. He's just knocking any strays that haven't this wobbling into without any sort of power whatsoever. And the time runs out and he's only scored 73 sticks which consigns into last place in this event before the other Zooks even take their third attempt. That's really disappointing for Duck. In order to get to Pride's total, Trent will have to make up an extra 78 sticks in this attempt. Can he achieve it in this run or will he consign himself to third place? Three, two, one. Go. And it's time to go, and he's just the second run in a row, she's turned around, he seems to do better when that happens. But that seems so counterproductive in the grand scheme of things, just charge at the sticks, get some early points, but he's making it work, and he is making significantly some dents here, and he does look like he's doing a better job than what he has done, but again he's getting stuck, he's making more progress, and he can just head to the other side, I think he's going to fare quite well, he's still struggling to move around, and got respectable 121, but it's not enough to move him above Pride, so it's third place this time round for Trent. And now we have Pride's final attempt here. He knows he has to beat 236. I'm sure he's got the potential to do it. Can Pride deliver on that right now? Three, two, one, go. This will be important in order to make this contest go on for another round. You have to get more than that score and you can't get stuck and you're getting stuck there. That may have cost you just that little bit there, getting that tiny delay. And again, 
you are struggling to get through things here, but you're making significant progress. Go for the big stack and you may have a chance. Go for the big stack, you're struggling, you haven't got much time left. Time's run out, you got 184 and he didn't hit the big stack. I'm sure he could have done better, but that's the best score of the round so far for Pride. But he'll be kicking himself but he didn't get to that big stack and potentially score more points. And we now have Angry Alligator's final attempt at Zook in the China Shop. He's already won, so this is just a pile of fun. Let's see what happens. Three, two, one, go. And away we go. The Angry Alligator charges straight at the sticks and knocks the whole bunch down. He's just trying to see if he can break the record at this point. Diving straight in and he's fallen off. He's fallen off after a couple of sweeps. He was still able to score 141, which is more than Trent and Duck scored in any of their runs. And there we have it, another event in the books, and another win for Angry Alligator, and another runner slop slot for Pride, who seems to be a class ahead of the other Zooks in this competition, scoring huge scores. Angry Alligator picks up the maximum 4 points here, with Pride just falling short about picking up 3. Trent was the best of the rest, coming in third place, picking up a standard two points. While Duck, well, at least it's entertaining, I'm not going to lie, he's got a point, but you can't say his contests are boring, even his performances aren't exactly that great. But anyway, there is still a chance that he can redeem himself in the final event, even if it is just for pride, because he's five points, a whole five points off the mighty Trent, and who is six points behind Pride. Pride has a three point deficit to the mighty angry alligator, but it is impossible for him to overtake on the basis that even if they ended up level one points, angry alligator would win the heat four events to two. But let's go on to the final event. Here we are at the final event of the heat, which is the variety competition. This is basically the same contest as heat one, where the Zooks have to get from one end of the course to the other, and it's going to test all their abilities, their strength, their climbing ability, their speed, basically everything. If you want to be a top Zook, this is the event to prove it. This is going to be more of a traditional contest in comparison to the other contests where each Zook will face each other once, and points will be dished out accordingly. However, as I've already discussed in the outro of the last event, this is pretty much for pride and it actually has no effect on the standings. So let's just enjoy this event and see how our fare, shall we? Three, two, one, go! Well, there goes Angry Alligator and Trent who seem to be level on points, but Trent had the slight advantage but Angry Alligator kind of caught up on the climbing moving cylinders and was able to take back the advantage and win that matchup. And now we have Duck versus Pride and I can already see a problem for Duck here because it's wider than the first obstacle. At least I can see the right hand wing is in the way of the first obstacle. I wonder how much problems Duck's going to have trying to navigate it. But let's keep an open mind and start the contest. Three, two, one, go. And away we go, and Duck has gone round the side, but has somehow managed to get past that area of the course. Now he can cheese his way to victory because Pride has got stuck on the cross of St. Zukadon and has finally got unstuck and got through. But Duck, oh, it's impressive, he's cheesing his way through and has finished the course. I have to say, pretty remarkable time considering he was unable to go through the course traditionally. That's impressive. Now it's time for Duck to take on Trent. Both of these Zooks lost their first matchup. Will any of them win this one? And can Duck pick his first matchup win? Three, two, one, go. You know, as much as Duck has been entertaining, he's yet to win one. I kind of wanted to see him win. Oh, Trent has some problems there, but just about navigated through the cylinders and has made it through the course. Well, nearly. He's kind of wanted to hit every single cylinder before crossing the line. No need to rush because Duck is doing Duck things, and he has. But well done to Trent for winning that matchup. Duck will have to wait for another day in order to pick up his first matchup win. And these Tooks have been evenly matched almost throughout this entire competition. 
Pride has come out second best for all the events so far, apart from event number four, Ready Steady Zook. But that being said, this has still been very tight all the same, with many of the contests coming with just a few milliseconds off of each other. So this should be a very interesting matchup between these two powerful Zooks. Three, two, one, go. And away they go. They're both charging at the first obstacle into the cylinders and into the turntable. And Pride has got stuck on the turntables again. Angry Alligator completes the course. And Pride is going to finish behind Angry Alligator in this event. But that was really close. I wonder what would have happened if Pride didn't get stuck on the turntables. Would they have beaten Angry Alligator here? That is a question we might not find the answer to. Not right now, at least. And now it's Angry Alligator versus Duck. Duck is at a huge disadvantage here, and I can only see this going one way. It will have to possibly wait for a while before Duck can win, but maybe Duck can surprise us here. So let's keep an open mind going into this. Three, two, one, go. And they're off, and it's an electric start for Angry Alligator. Duck has gone off to the side, as per usual. So Angry Alligator is going to win quite comfortably there, without any problems whatsoever. Well done, Angry Alligator. Another event win is now in the bag. Why is it that every time there's a contest in this heat, in kind of a battle of second place, it is between these two Zooks in the head-to-head -head competitions this round that there have been four, these two Zooks have battled it out each time to see who will finish in second place. Will the same prediction happen here as with the other three so far, with Pride coming out victorious on those occasions? How will Pride fare on this course against Trent? So let's kickstart the contest and answer many of these questions. Three, two, one, go. And they're off. Pride and Trent are neck and neck. And Trent has flown up out of the way, which gives Pride a distinct advantage. But I think he's having trouble mounting himself on the cylinders. And now he's running straight into the middle without turning the turntable, giving Trent a perfect opportunity to capitalize, which he's struggling in his own way. But Trent's going to finish second. What a second place finish for Trent! Wow! What a shock! That's probably the only unpredictable thing that's happened in this event! And that's event 6 out of the way. Angry Alligator picks up his 5th event win, scoring 4 points in this particular event. Trent finishes in his first second place of the heat, picking up 3 points. Pride finishing behind him after a slightly disappointing display, picking up 2 points. And Duck finishing in his own position, which is last place, because sadly Duck has been outclassed from the start of the competition right to the end. But anyway, looking at the final standings, this means that Duck finishes in fourth place, scoring six points, which is the minimum number of points that you can score at any time. Unfortunately, I think the competition was just too strong for Duck today. Trent finishes in third place with a grand total of 13 points, seven ahead of Duck and only five behind Pride, which isn't too bad. Pride finishes a total of five points behind Angry Alligator as he finished on 18, and Angry finished on 23 points. This means Angry Alligator qualifies for the quarterfinals straight away. Congratulations to the Angry Alligator. Pride and Trent will qualify for Mazazli rounds, but it's likely that Pride will find his place back in the quarterfinals due to that impressive display in that heat, so you shouldn't find the Mazazli rounds too difficult. And as for Duck, Duck was a league a way, way behind the rest of the Zooks, and in his league of his own in last place, he'll be going to the wooden Zook with more Zooks that are of a similar ability, so it should fare better there. And that's all for today's episode. Tune in again next time when another four more Zooks step up to the gauntlet and see if they can book their place into the quarterfinals. Next time, we'll see how they're fair. This has been Robotic Master in the meantime, and I'm signing off.